welcome to Second Occasional Zony Awards. And now, here's your host and mine, Murph the Surf. Hey everybody, and everybody's buddy. In most episodes of Construction Zone Online, we've made special challenges where we ask you to draw or build something to put on our show. We've drawn a winner from each challenge, and today, they'll be rewarded a prize. Thank you. And to start off the celebration, here's Princess Marina and Stuart. Psalm 55, 22. Cares to cares, and the Lord, Lord. We, we will sustain you. you. We will, will sustain you. you. Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will sustain you. And He will never, never, never let the righteous fall. The righteous fall. No, He will never, never, never let the righteous fall. Let the righteous fall. No. Cast your cares on the Lord, for He will sustain you. He will sustain you. I said, Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will sustain you. He will never, never, never let the righteous fall. Let the righteous fall. No. He will never, never, never let the righteous fall. Let the righteous fall. No. That was totally awesome. Now, here's Professor Mildew Higglebottom with an explanation of the award system. Thank you, Mr. The Surf. Here with me is a magnificent array of plastic miniature action figures with five points of articulation. My Zonatron computer will randomly choose a prize for each winner. It will be truly breathtaking. Thank you, Professor. Boys and girls at home, do you remember Milo's Big Bug Show? To announce our first winner, here's that duo that made that show really groovy. Hi, I'm Milo Pembroke. Milo's Big Bug Show was a passion project of mine. I wanted kids all over the world to see how bugs could teach you how to follow Jesus. We wanted our viewers to choose which bugs would be on our show. This rhinoceros beetle was made by Nolan. Since Nolan is an international winner, he has a special minifigure mail just for him. So, all these minifigures are still available to win. When I first pushed for the show, the producers wanted to bring a so-called bug expert on the show. Ugh. That's why they got Scoop here. My name is Stiff. <laughs> Ah, yes. So Skip learned so much being on the show with me. Remember when we talked about how you thought ladybugs were lucky? Here we go. And I said you should trust God instead. Uh, I actually didn't say that. Our next challenge was to create a bug habitat, and the winner was Marshall. Yay, Marshall! Now the Zonatron will choose a minifigure for Marshall. Marshall wins... Number two, the Ring Toss Man! In our next episode, we learned that grasshoppers were hard to catch because they jumped. We should flee from sin like grasshoppers. You know, Milo, that was my favorite episode because I hosted. Oh. You were too busy chasing mm, the grasshoppers you let out of the cage. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Never mind that. The winner of the Grasshopper Challenge was Levi! Great job, Levi! We have eight minifigures left. Levi wins 
Number three, Walkie Talkie Man! Our next challenge was to draw a rhinoceros beetle. Some kids have never heard of a rhinoceros beetle before watching our show, and that's really cool. Our show was fun, and it's educational. It's fun educational. <laughs> we learned that a rhinoceros beetle looks big and scary, but they're actually really gentle, so we shouldn't judge people by the outward appearance. The winner of this episode's drawing was David. Yay, David! Now there are seven minifigures left, and David wins number eight, the kayaker! And now, let's hear another musical number featuring the chickens! The next two awards will be given by Maria Serfozo, my mom, and the great Fettuccini. You may remember Fettuccini played the part of the puzzler in the League of Substitute Superheroes. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Murph. Tell him I said hi. Tell him I said hi. Murph, he's such a good boy. Have you been on TV before, Mrs. Serfozo? Only one time before this, my baby. I started my career very young. I was on television for the first time when I was eight years old. My mom told me to get off it before I broke it. <laughs> you should listen to your mother, my dear. That was a joke. The next winner is our own Aussie who made Bray Mantis. Let's see if she wins. Now, there are six minifigures left. And OG wins... Number nine, the ice cream lady! Our next challenge was very, very special because the little children told us they were thankful for. They were so cute, I just want to pinch their little cheeks. Fortunately, for this win, he was all the way in Canada. This is the creation of Anson. He made a picture of his farm and his dad on a tractor. Anson, it is such a nice picture. You are a little artist. This is another international winner, so we have sent you your award in the mail. Mamma mia! Now we just uh, have uh, one drawing from the Christmas series. And this time, we had to make Christmas ornaments. The winner of the drawing was Miles. Congratulations, Miles. Now, there are five minifigures left. Which one will Miles win? It's number six, the boy who loves sausage! And so concludes the awards for the Bug Show and Christmas series. We'll have another Zonies Award after the Treasure Hunt series, which will continue next week. See you next time! Hey friends, I wanted to share a few thoughts. I know this has been a full video with lots of puppets and lots of songs. And, uh, you know, we've made almost 50 videos, Sunday School videos, uh, for Construction Zone Online since COVID began. It's good sometimes to stop and think about the things we've learned and talked about. I love the Bible. I can't tell you how important it is that we are filled with God's Word, filled with His Holy Spirit. 
I hate to say it, but we live in a very dark place, a very dark world. People are confused because they don't know the truth. They don't believe the truth. Sometimes people don't want to know the truth. I have this little flashlight here. It's smaller than my thumb. and I know my thumb's bigger than a lot of people's thumbs. But uh, it's amazing how just this little light, turning us on in a dark room, changes everything. It turns on the mm -hmm. You know, Jesus said, you are the light of the world. We should, let, we should let our light shine before others so that they'd see what we do and glorify our Father in heaven. Uh, how are we a light? Well, one, like I said before, when we're filled with God's Word and we're filled with the Holy Spirit, when people are confused, we can bring God's truth to, to, to them. We're light when we love our neighbor, when we're kind to people who are, who are even unkind to us. And we're light. When we trust in God, when things are, even when things around us are dark, we bring hope and we bring light to those around us. Your faith and prayers do so much more than you know, little light. So this is just a short little message, um, but I, I really felt like this is something God wanted me to share with you today, right now. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are the light of the world, but then you called us... Um, when you went up back to heaven, you called us to be the light in the world in all the places that we live, in all the dark places, all the dark corners of this world. I pray, Father God, you will make us light that really knows you, that knows your truth and chases after you, Lord God. I pray that you be with us now and, and be with everyone this week. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I, I, I'm reminded of a song. Do you remember the song? This the light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let me see. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine all the time. Well, stick around because we've got a, a drawing in a little bit, and maybe you're going to win today. Oh, yo. Uh, so this is the end of the show here. We're going to do a little drawing. So for this week, we asked you guys to make treasure maps. And, well, you could have one kind of treasure you want, and any kind of map you want, anywhere. And we had seven people make maps this time. That's pretty good. And, uh, and so let's take a look at those. Here's Anson's treasure map. And Emil here's Emily's map. I think this is the first time Emily's participated. Cool, thanks for joining us today, Emily. And here's Erica's treasure map. And here's... Hannah's treasure map, and here's Levi's treasure map, and here's Olivia's treasure map, and here's OG's treasure map. You got a map too, didn't you? You're kind of quiet. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and draw a name and see, OG, if you have the hat, where's the hat? Okay, I'm going to pull a name from the app. You can use both hands if you want. Oh, oh, oh. Lydia! Lydia! Lydia, congratulations! So you're going to get a Lego mini figure. And we're going to probably have a contest at the end of the pirate team. Um, and since we get a lot of pla we get a lot of Lego guys out today, or at least intend to, and so here is my idea for the next week's challenge. Design your own Lego minifigure. Like if you could have your your dream Lego guy, what would he look like? You can draw it on paper and send it to us. Alright. Oh, and a joke. You want a joke, right? Alright, Olivia. Or OG. What? How do you get a squirrel to like you? I don't know. Just act like a nut. <laughs> That's looking up, get it? Because squirrels like nuts. Like nut. And you're nutty. I All right. like nut. Okay, well, thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. It's been lots of fun. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.